Have you ever wondered what dreams are and why we have them? Dreams, those enigmatic stories that unfold in our minds during sleep, have been a source of fascination and mystery throughout human history. They are like a window into our subconscious, a hidden realm where our deepest thoughts and feelings come to life. There are several theories about the purpose of dreams. Some researchers suggest that they play a crucial role in subconscious thought processing. They allow us to explore different scenarios and solve problems without the constraints of reality. Others believe that dreams are essential for memory consolidation, helping us to process and store new information. Emotional regulation is another proposed function of dreams. They can act as a form of nocturnal therapy, allowing us to process and cope with our emotions in a safe and controlled environment. But the question remains, how do our brains create these vivid images while we sleep? To unravel the mystery of dreams, we first need to understand the workings of our brain, more specifically, neural networks. Now what are neural networks, you may ask? Think of them as a web of interconnected nodes or neurons. Each neuron is a tiny information processing center. They receive data, process it, and then pass it on. These neurons are connected via synapses that act like highways, allowing information to flow from one neuron to another. In our brain, there are around a hundred billion neurons, all chattering away, turning raw data into thoughts, memories, and dreams. Just as cities are connected by a complex network of roads, our neurons are interconnected, forming a vast and intricate neural network. This network is dynamic, continually adapting and evolving, learning from the data it processes. And this is where the magic happens. This is where we learn to walk, talk, and dream. Now here's a fascinating twist. Scientists and engineers have taken inspiration from our brain's neural networks to design artificial neural networks. These artificial networks are a cornerstone of machine learning, a branch of artificial intelligence. Artificial neural networks, like their biological counterparts, are made up of interconnected nodes. These nodes receive input data, process it, and pass it on, mimicking the way neurons in our brain work. And just like our brain learns from experience, these networks learn from the data they process. Over time, they can recognize patterns, make predictions, and even create new data. But there's more. Artificial neural networks can also dream. Yes, you heard it right. They can simulate or create data that they have never seen before. This process, known as dropout, is a way for these networks to prevent overfitting, enhancing their ability to generalize from the data they have learned. So in a way, our brain's neural networks and artificial neural networks are not that different. They both process information, learn from it, and yes, they both dream. Just like our brain, artificial neural networks can also dream or simulate data, thanks to a process called dropout. Dropout. A term you might associate with quitting school or a career, but in neural networks, it means something entirely different. Let's imagine a team of workers. Each worker has a specific task, and they all work together to complete a project. Now imagine if randomly some of these workers were made to take a break. What would happen? The remaining workers would need to step up, learn the tasks of their absent colleagues, and perform them. This would make the team more flexible and efficient. In the world of neural networks, this is what we call dropout. Dropout is a regularization technique used to prevent overfitting. Overfitting is when a neural network learns the training data so well that it performs poorly on unseen data. It's like a student who crams for an exam, remembering the exact questions and answers, but struggles when faced with a slightly different question. Dropout combats overfitting by randomly dropping out some neurons during training, much like our workers taking a break. This forces the remaining neurons to learn more robust features, making the network more flexible and efficient, similar to our team of workers. The interesting part is that each time the network is trained, a different set of neurons is dropped out. This creates a form of variability, as the network has to adapt to different configurations. It's like a team of workers where the members who take a break keep changing, forcing the team to adapt and learn continuously. The analogy doesn't stop there. You could say that dropout introduces a form of dreaming into the neural network. When the network is dreaming, 
It's simulating data and learning from it. These dreams help the network understand different scenarios, making it more adaptable and robust. So in a way, dropout in neural networks creates a form of dreaming, simulating data and learning from it. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? But remember, like dreams, dropout is just one part of the bigger picture of how neural networks function and learn. So, what do our dreams and neural network dropout have in common? The beauty lies in the peculiar similarity of function and purpose. You see, dreams, like the dropout technique in neural networks, create a form of randomness, a smorgasbord of scenarios that may seem utterly bizarre or unconnected. Yet, in both cases, this randomness serves a greater purpose. In neural networks, dropout prevents overfitting by randomly dropping out nodes, forcing the network to learn more robust and generalizable patterns. It's like a teacher giving a student different types of problems on a topic to ensure they understand the concept, not just one specific problem. Now, let's turn our attention back to dreams. There's a popular theory that dreams serve a similar purpose. They create random scenarios, throwing us into strange and often nonsensical situations. Like a neural network undergoing dropout, our brain is challenged to adapt, to make sense of the nonsensical, and to learn from it. Consider how often dreams involve situations that provoke strong emotions or require problem solving. Could it be that our brains are using these dream scenarios as a sort of dropout mechanism? forcing us to confront and adapt to different situations. Could the randomness of our dreams be a way for our brains to ensure we don't overfit to our daily experiences, but instead learn to generalize and adapt? Of course, this is all speculative. The human brain is an intricate and complex system, far more sophisticated than any neural network we've developed so far. Yet the parallels between neural networks and our dreams are undeniably intriguing. They serve as a reminder of how much we can learn about ourselves by studying artificial intelligence and conversely, how much AI can learn from us. While we may not yet fully understand the nature of dreams, the parallels with neural networks provide a fascinating new perspective.